Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to develop a custom BPM adapter. So Informatica provide a by default adapter to handle the task management which we configure normally in the IDD application. So now if you want to do any customization, then you cannot modify the existing task management process defined in the uh, the default BPM adapter. So what is the default adapter? For example, if you go to the M Informatic MDM hub tool, go to the workflow manager and you can see the what are the adapters available. So for now BE active was this is one of the adapter then we have the B, uh, informatic active active was adapter so so these are the two adapters currently available so the default behavior of the this adapter we cannot change if you want to change or if you want to customize the task management change or task management approval process then th you can develop your custom adapter and you can deploy as a workflow management engine so how can we develop in order to develop we need to develop a java application so you can create any name uh, java application so we have created here the name of the java project is bpm uh, sdk you can give any name uh, the libraries library or the jar files required are informatica bpm adapter dot jar log 4 j and Cyprian common. So these jar files will be available whenever you install the SDK during the Informatica MDM hub installation. So whenever you install Informatic MDM SDK, this BPM adapter jar file will be available for you for to use. Once we del uh, once we got those jar files, we have to create three classes. The first class will be the custom BPM process generator second class will be custom bpm adapter and third class is custom task data if you open the custom bpm process generator it will ask us to override the two methods so let's see first what is the class name you can give any class name i gave the custom bpm process generator which implements i bpm process generator that is interface and interface has the definition of the create and the initialize method so that is the reason whenever we implement ibpm process generator in our custom class it will ask us to override the create and the initialize method in the create method we will uh, we will have the access to application context and also the task data from where can we get the context definitely will be provided by the tool but this i data or the i task data will be come from our custom implementation of this task data so we will see that shortly this method throws the bpm adapter exception so any error message occurs during this uh, execution that will be caught and uh, will be thrown as a bpm adapter exception so for this basic implementation i have not given any business specific case but it is just uh, printed the custom bpm process generator instance is created in the initialize method you can initialize the various properties which will be going to use during the bpm processor or the task management processing here i have just mentioned the uh, the class is initiated something like that the next class we need to look into is the custom bpm adapter it's very important class the actual processes or the task handling will be done in this bpm adapter but one of the class used for this BPM uh, or the BPM adapter is a task data. Let's see the task data what it contains. The custom task data it is the class name which implement the I task data. So whenever the whenever someone is implementing or using I task data, they have the access to this custom implementation custom task data. This this class has the various method such as add task record. So if you want to add the record to the given task then the comments then you can get the command get create date get creator get due date then we have to get last update date get owner get priority and if you see the further get priority the return type is priority enum so it is enum type 
then we have the get process id get status get task id get task records even if you want to get the all the rec uh, records from that given task you can get that what kind of task it is by we uh, we can get by using the get task type method if you want to get the title you can use the get title get updated by then these are the get methods available the rest of the set method which actually help internally the tool will use or even if you want to call the custom way we can call this set method the set methods available are set comment set creator create date set creator set due date set last update date set owner set priority set process id set status set task id also we have the set task record which accept the list of the record task records then we have the set task types set title and the set updated by so if you observe this class the task data it actually has the setters and the getter method in java term we call it a pojo class or the plain java object class so which actually has the set and the get methods so this is the task data or the custom task get data will be used whenever we use the i task data or the interface task data use use case so if you so these are the two important classes process generator and the task data once you create the next class we need to create is a custom bpm adapter which implements i bpm adapter it will ask us to implement the various method the very first method is claim task which will be called by informatic mdm internally whenever the whenever we define or whenever we define the criteria for the task creation it accept the application context and i task data as i discussed whenever whenever we use i task data it actually points to the its implementation class so in our case it is a custom task data application contents will be provided at the runtime by the server environment or the where the application where the mdm hub is installed then we have the create method to create the task it also has access to the application context and the task data so you can you can use a get task record and the, you can see the data is correct or you can apply the custom logic on that using the application context and create the task the next method we have to override is does support administration which have the application context here no need to have the access to data just check the context and you can validate the administration activity on that does support lineage to support as like the does support administration the does support lineage method also accept i application context to retry the environment related properties then execute action this time this will accept the three argument application context task data and the string argument of course your execution if you have any custom logic during the execution you can implement in this method get by id so which if you pass the id you can get the information using the application context and the whatever the id you are passing get next task type so one task is completed and you are working on the next task then you can get this next task by calling the next task type method get task lineage so before calling this get task lineage method you have to call one more one more method that is nothing but does support lineage to check the if sub lineage is supported and then and then you can call to avoid the any exception then we have the get task type get task type privilege to check the what what privilege that task have get get task then we have the initialize method to initialize variables in your class or in your system the next method is is user allowed to open task so if user do not have sufficient privilege he or she will not able to open the task so that can be checked using this method merge complete so this is if the merge of completes then the task is completed you can get this corresponding information and you can manipulate so if you want to do any custom processing after merge of complete or merge action complete 
then you can use this method if you are using the update operation and after update operation is completed if you want to customize or you want to achieve some custom business requirement you can call this update method on the custom bpm adapter so these are the basic classes you have to create it create it once you create this all these basic classes you have to write the build script in the build script what we have written we have written the various what is the location where you want to generate the jar file what are the jar file required etc the other way uh, you can generate the class file is you can directly right click on this project and export there is option mm, export and you can select the java project so it will generate a jar for us so, so there are different ways you can generate this right let's see whether it generates for us now or not in order to once you write this build.xml you can just click on the run as a and build and it is properly configured then and then it will generate the that xml file otherwise it will not generate uh, that jar file so build is completed saying so that means actually i already generated so if you want to regenerate so you have to make some minor changes in your code then and then it will generate otherwise if you do not have any chain uh, any if you do not have any changes it will not generate the jar file so that is also one and build a uh, functionality so you can see at this location the custom bpm adapter dot jar file is generated so once you generate this file how to deploy so in order to deploy this jar file what you have to do you have to go to the mdm hub make sure go to the configuration and workflow manager acquire the lock whenever you acquire lock you can see this green button enable click on that once you click it will ask the adapter name you can give the adapter name custom bpm adapter you can give any name there is no restriction but give some meaningful name and it, the next section is workflow adapter jar here you have to provide the path where the jar file is generated <coughs> click on the ok button select that adapter jar file and the, it will automatically populate the merge task generator class and workflow adapter class so these classes will be picked from your project so what are the project or what are the jar file it is created description if you want to give it is optional thing but i will just mention description of bpm click ok if it is there is no any errors in your project and everything is ok then this custom bpm adapter is created so this is not end of the uh, process the next process is uh, we have to configure that adapter so in order to configure the adapter when you go to the primary workflow engine let me go here add the workflow engine so from the workflow engine you have to select the workflow particular work for, for example custom adapter i will say custom engine and then you have to provide the on server on which it is install port uh, i think it's 8080 but i need to just double check that yeah okay i think i'm not sure but i'm just giving this let's try out it will check that and this will create the custom engine so even the server and ports are not correct but we'll check later on once you configure that you have to go here and in the drop down you will able to see that custom engine once you select that then and then only your custom workflow or custom implementation will be get call so by this way actually you can uh, create the custom adapter and you can configure the custom adapter and whenever you configure task management in the idd 
the corresponding custom business implementation will be get called. I hope this tutorial will help you to understand the how to implement the custom BPM adapter. If you have any questions or queries about the Informatic MDM or any other technology, then you can mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you and have a nice time.